Hello everyone, Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to share with you guys my review of the Chefman Air Fryer. As you can see, this is the box that it comes into and I will share a special chicken tandoori recipe that I'm going to try on the air fryer and hopefully it turns out okay. Also to note, this air fryer is an automatic touchscreen air fryer which makes it even better. You don't have to deal with any of the buttons and as you can see from the screen, the once you have the display on and once you have your air fryer in start mode, the buttons will light up and you will be given the option to choose the temperature, the time that you want to cook it for, and the start and the stop, which you will see in the video. As you can see, this is the first thing that I see when I open the box. It's an instruction manual and it comes with a diagram with how the pan is supposed to be, how you're supposed to clean it, which is great because it gives a reference. Um, this is the air fryer itself. It's not very big and especially because I'm looking at something that's very easy to handle and store. This was perfect for me and my family. All right, so now I'm just taking off the plastic wrap. And as you can see, this is the back air vent. And once I rotate it around, you will be able to notice that this is the front display, which will show you the time as it cooks, as well as the other buttons that will appear on the touchscreen pad. This red handle over here is for the pan where your food will go into. And once it's open, you'll be able to see how the air fryer has a grilling system, which makes it super easier. As you can see, there's uh, two parts to this pan. One is the actual grill and one is the actual body part of the pan. The reason that this makes it easier is that once I'm done cooking, I can just take off the grill and clean everything out. And if there is anything such as crumbs or any of the pieces or flakes that fall off during the cooking process, they all gather at the bottom of the actual pan or the body part of it. And it's super easy to clean up because all you do is you remove the grill and you just wash off the bottom. And just one note on that, please be careful when using any kind of abrasive sponge because this has a non-stick surface and once you use anything abrasive such as a fork or even a sponge uh, with bristles it ends up destroying that part now this is the recipe i was talking to you about i'm currently adding in garlic and ginger paste i already added in the salt this is one pound of chicken right here since i like a little bit of heat i'm going to add in red chili powder uh, you can also substitute that with paprika or something to your liking. Now, this is only for the rub down. This isn't for the main or the final seasoning that we're going to do. What we're going to do right now is this is essentially all of the spices that we're going to add before we refrigerate, essentially to marinate. Once you have all of your spices put in, mix well and refrigerate for at least half an hour to one hour. Now, as you can see, it's been one hour and I have taken out the chicken. So far, it looks very well balanced and the spices seem to have been mixed well, which is good, especially because once you let it sit in the fridge, it helps all of the flavor absorb into the chicken. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my final touches and add the remaining spices that I need to before I put it into the air fryer. Now I'm just going to add in a little bit of olive oil, about two teaspoons, and I prefer to use olive oil over vegetable oil in most of my recipes because it's definitely healthier for everyone, and I want to make sure that my kids and my family always eat healthy. Now as you can see, I have added the oil, and now I'm just going to add in the remaining spices as I've mentioned before. This includes adding in coriander and cumin powder, which is one of my favorites, especially due to the scent and the taste that it provides. But also, I'm going to add a little bit more of cumin powder from before. So 
So now I'm just going to add in just a little bit more of chili powder because I just love the heat. And I love, love, love spicy tandoori. And I'm going to top it off with ketchup. I'm also going to add a dash of lime because I've always found that adding lime brings about that extra taste and gives it that powerful kick. So this is really good now. And once I have done that, I'm going to mix up everything and mix it really well because this is the final mix that we're be giving it before we put it into the air fryer. As you can see, I have my chicken situated around the sides of the air fryer pan and not in the center so I don't end up blocking any of the airflow. Because this is an air fryer, that part is very, very, very important. And this is the grill I've mentioned, that this grill actually comes off. And here's the touch display. Once you have the grill and the pan inserted, the touch display will automatically go up and you will be able to adjust the temperature, the time, and the start setting. After 13 minutes, I'm going to take it out and flip it and put it back in for another 8 to 13 minutes. This is the beautiful result of, an, of 26 minutes. Now, on the side, as you can see, I've also made homemade french fries as well, which also didn't take much time. So if you want to see my recipe for the homemade french fries, let me know, and I'll share that recipe on my next blog. But for this one, as you can see, I have paired today's dinner with special homemade naan and the tandoori's, which look amazing. Not only were they perfectly ripe and juicy, but they were also perfectly baked, which is amazing. Considering that when I had to bake my tandoori's, they usually took somewhere from about 30 minutes to one hour. So as you can see, this is perfectly baked. It even has that smokiness going on and paired with the naan, as well as the french fries, it just tasted amazing. It was like an amazing fusion of American and desi dish. So I really enjoyed this dish and it was super easy making it using the air fryer. I had nothing to worry about and essentially it was easier to handle than my oven tray because all I had to do was I had to take out the pan and just flip them around, put it back in and it was perfectly done. And the timer was there and that controlled everything. I also loved the ingenuity of the touchscreen controller because it made life so much easier. I could just tap pause or stop or reset and I could stop the process or take out the pan or even change the temperature while I, it was cooking or even check my timer as well. So it was amazing and I will definitely recommend this. Hey guys, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys liked my video and enjoyed the presentation that I had for today. If you guys did enjoy my video, please, please, please don't forget to drop a like and a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for new videos every day.